The Playhouse at Westport Plaza has a knack for finding audiences for its show. The most recent example of this was Assisted Living the Musical. I doubt whether many members of the audience knew any more about the show than I did before seeing it. Even so, the place was packed on opening night and expectations were met, judging by the audience response. It was a rather gray audience, as you might guess from the show's title and its subtitle, The Tales Granny Will Never Tell. The subtitle on the show's CD is even more explicit, How the Older Half Lives. The show was written by Rick Compton and Betsy Bennett, who performed it at the Westport. The opening scene takes place not, as you might expect, at an assisted living facility, but in heaven, where a married couple has just arrived, both partners at the same time. This coincidence makes them suspect their son pulled the plug on them to get his hands on his inheritance sooner. They don't seem to mind too much. They did get into heaven after all. Their focus, however, is not on where they are, but where they just were, an active, full-service retirement community called Pelican Roost. In the first number, they tell us everything is swell at Pelican Roost. Then they disappear for more than an hour. What follows is a review with more than a half dozen additional characters performing numbers and routines about life in a retirement community. Here are a few titles. Help. I've fallen for you and I can't get up. The Lost My Dentures on Steak Night Blues, Walker Dude at Facebook.com, and Golf Cart Seduction. Some of the characters appear more than once, including a sleazy lawyer and Ben Younger, a Borscht Belt style comedian. The most memorable of the recurring characters is Naomi Lipschitz Yamamoto Murphy, a real estate agent with a heavy New York accent. Her name is the nominal equivalent of Chekhov's gun. If you give someone three last names in her first appearance, then she has to explain how she got them by the last one. It turns out Naomi has had three husbands while living at Pelican Roost. Each new marriage was a step up to a better unit, so Naomi can speak from experience about the living arrangements at the complex. As she repeatedly states, she doesn't just live at Pelican Roost, she sells there too. Bennett and Compton were completely comfortable and very entertaining in all their parts. Jeremy Franklin Goodman was their able accompanist. With its upbeat numbers on topics that hit home with older audiences, Assisted Living the Musical resembles another show that played at the Westport, Menopause the Musical. In both, new lyrics are applied to popular songs from the characters' younger days. I'm not sure whether any of the assisted living songs are new, but My Hide, for example, is a takeoff on Rawhide about aging skin. The uplifting medley has snatches from many popular songs with new lyrics about Viagra. At the end of the show, I finally understood why it began with a deceased couple. They return for the final number, it's an upbeat parody of an instantly recognizable popular song that would not work at all if the performers were not already in heaven. The program at the Westport indicates that Assisted Living the Musical is available for licensing for casts that can be as large as 18. Considering the demographics of community theater, I suspect the Westport's production of this show is not the last one we will ever see. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that aspect of it, but I think you're quite right on that. And it's fun, you know, it's not great art maybe, but we don't always need great art. And they're both very good performers. She has a terrific voice too. But they, they do it very well, and what they have written for us is a lot of fun. So it was a very enjoyable evening, and I would enjoy hearing some more of that music. Everything is well when you're in Pelican Roost. And my little 